thank all of you for being here tonight and joining us in the kind of finality of our campaign celebration to go public. For those of you that were at the panel sessions in my hand yesterday, a couple themes came out. Vice Admiral Tim Seismansky, the head of the Navy SEAL community and now the deputy of SOCOM, said one thing. The more you can learn how to fight and win while you're at the Naval Academy, the better off you'll be when it's time to fight and win in the real world. So he said, hey, look, moral and mental is good, but without the physical, it doesn't work. And he said also that being a varsity athlete here is one of those pressurized moments. So whether it's a club athlete, a varsity athlete, he spoke for being physically challenged while you're here, being at the top of your game, and getting into situations where there's nowhere else, nowhere else to go but to fight and win. So tonight we celebrate part of what makes this place great. That's the physical mission of the Naval Academy. And we've got people here tonight who lead that mission and lead that tradition. Chuck Blanchard, our AD, is here. He speaks for himself, but I can just say it's great to be a partner with Chet. Here on Veterans Day weekend and Chet. You make the Academy proud when you have this classic on Veterans Day weekend. I'm very proud to be here. We also have two outstanding athletes in Naval Academy history. David Robinson, the Admiral, is back. You'll hear from him tonight. And Commander Becky Calder, class of 98. First woman basketball player to have her jersey retired. Ultimately became a Top Gun fighter pilot. And what they represent is what we all aspire to, it's what we want the men to pay attention to. They're mentally fit, they're ethical, and they're physically tough. So with that, let's get this party started. Please welcome R.A.D. Chuck Blanchard. The Academy is better today because of you. There's no question about it, and we really appreciate it. And as Byron mentioned a moment ago, you know, when you take a look at the mission of who we are, this is just a reminder, because you all understand it as well as anyone, but you know, we've got that balanced mission, moral, mental, physical, we live it every single day, but also this Veterans Classic is something that's really special. We started this five years ago, and we brought in some of the best basketball programs in the United States. Think about this for a moment. The two that you're going to meet here in a moment, Becky Allen Calder is a retired jersey. She is one of her all-time great top ten in everything in the Navy basketball. One of the finest basketball players ever to down the blue and gold here for our women's basketball program. All right, Chad, thank you so much. It is such an honor to be here tonight and be a part of this hugely important campaign. This morning, I had the chance to listen to David speak on a panel of industry leaders. And something that he said, it really caught me and it reminded me how we are all connected in this room. Those of us on stage and those of us off stage and the 4,000 plus midshipmen over in Bancroft Hall. He talked about that sense of purpose, the sense of doing something for the greater good, something greater than yourself. I think that's what the spirit of this campaign is and I think that's what the spirit of Naval Academy Sports is. It's teaching the future leaders of our nation how to work for something greater than themselves. I don't know if you guys know this, maybe some of you in the uh, audience, but there's a Latin phrase that is inscribed over the Naval Academy's chapel. Does anybody know what it is? Not for self, but for country. I think that phrase is also what this campaign is about. Not for self, doing something for the purpose greater than ourselves. I mean, the four years that I worked here, it was not for me. It was not for my accomplishments. Everything that I did and everything that I worked for was my teammates, and maybe David can relate. It was for the basketball team, it was for those women that I worked with for four years. That transferred with me and came with me to the fleet. For the 14 years that I flew F-18s, going through Top Gun, everything that I worked for and everything that I did, it was not for me. It was for the guys on the ground in Iraq, it was for the guys on the ground in Afghanistan, and ultimately, it was for the safety of our nation. So those lessons on the court in Halsey and in alumni, those that came with me to what I am doing today. And today I can say I'm a proud military spouse. I'm also a struggling grad school student who is coincidentally studying leadership. But I'm taking that and what I'm doing, it's not for me. It is not for what I am going to do. It is for my husband, 
his next job, which is a major command job in, in uh, Iwakuni, Japan, and it's hopefully for my children, two things that I am most blessed with in my whole life, and it's also for the future leaders that I hope to inspire. So once again, that sense of purpose that David talked about this morning, I think it's embodied in this campaign, and I think it's embodied in Navy sports. And with that, I would like to turn it over to David Robinson. David. Uh, thank you so much, Sam. Thank you, Becky. It's great to be on the stage with her legend in the basketball uh, arena, and, uh, and so I'm, I'm, I'm very proud to be here. I always love coming back here. This place is such a huge part of of me. It's part of shaping my life, shaping what my future has become. And I love this place. I always, whenever I'm out talking about the Naval Academy, I talk about it as an incredible place for leaders. We, we pump out leaders like no place I've ever seen. I know when I got to the Spurs, the one thing I was shocked at was the lack of kind of fire and, and leadership that's out there in the world. And I walked in that locker room because of my training here, and I said, how can I make this team better? What are the things I can do to be a leader in this locker room? And then what are the things I can do with this, within this franchise to help our franchise get better? And that fire, that passion, that energy came from this place. It came from what I learned here from my classmates and what I learned here from the fantastic teachers. And so this place, to me, is a treasure in, in this country. And uh, thank you very much for your support, for what we've been doing. Thank you for helping us to achieve that margin of excellence. It's very difficult to keep up with all these universities that raise all of this money and they become huge, they build new facilities, uh, they do all these things, and, but this place deserves a rank amongst all of those universities because of what we do. We build character, we build leaders, and we have an incredible impact on where this country is going. So again, thank you so much. I'm proud to be here and I'm looking forward to us tonight going to put the fight to Maryland. So go Navy.